Okay, so when we left off last time, I had just finished off the sketching and I ended up skipping over it instead of recording all of it like I thought I was going to because it turns out it's actually kind of awful to record. So it makes sense why nobody records that stage and I, I concede, I concede. There was, there was no point in trying that. So getting right into the inking stage, um, as you can see, I'm like editing the sketching my sketches all the way throughout. Like even when I'm like finishing up, like at the end, I'll be like, oh my gosh, I need to add another panel here like to make something more clear. So I'm constantly messing around with uh, the original sketches and they, by the end of it, very rarely resemble how they started. So here I'm just kind of going over my sketches. I've got the, the original sketch on kind of a low opacity and um, yeah, just going, going along. set up as I have them within the content folder that's um let me see if I can zoom in and it's on its own layer and and each panel has its own content folder so um anytime I want if I want to move an entire panel it'll move everything inside it including color and and line and fx and and everything so that's how I have it set up it makes for kind of large file sizes like <laughs> they're getting really large um, but it keeps it organized and I don't know if it's like a graphic designer thing, but I just, <laughs> I gotta organize the crap out of my files. So yeah, there's no, there's no like real organization anywhere else in my life, but <laughs> within my Photoshop and Clip Studio files, there is a lot. Oh yeah, I should say, um, as you can see, I'm using Clip Studio here and, um, this will be the last step in my process where I do use Clip Studio because after this, I move back into Photoshop to do all my coloring and shading because that's just where I'm more comfortable. Even though I do know that um, Clip Studio seems to have like a better um, paint bucket, I think it's called, and it doesn't work quite as well in Photoshop. So I know that Clip Studio has some, some just clearly better, clearly better processes, but um, I'm just not comfortable yet totally making the leap to Clip Studio yet. This step of the process is pretty fast and kind of kind of nice. <laughs> I just kind of go through each panel and do the ink for each one. And then once everything's done, then I go back through and start the color or the, the flats, I should say. And then once all the flats are done, I go back through and then I do the shading. And maybe at the same time, I'll add in the speech bubbles and uh, the sound effects and things like that. It's really cool, like watching um, like watching this. It feels like I'm like a, a sports commentator or something. I should really zoom in. Ah, there we go. <laughs> you notice that I like, um, I zoom out a lot and I, I zoom back in. Um, there's really, it really gives you like a different look when you zoom out. You gotta like step away. When you're um, too close while you're drawing something, um, it might look fine then, but it can look totally different. Um, and it can kind of help you to keep from adding too many details, which can just get lost when you're looking at it on your phone or even on your desktop. So um, I do a lot of zooming in and zooming out to give myself a better idea of what the, the final piece will look like. What is going on? Did I like walk away? It's kind of funny after posting this chapter, <laughs> a lot of people noticed that uh, Mr. Buttons was looking just kind of buff. <laughs> and like that he, um, that he had has sort of put on some muscle since last time we saw him. Uh, this was kind of news to me. I don't know. In my mind, he was always kind of like a big buff bunny. And, um, but apparently, um, <laughs> he's, he's, he's looking a little more muscular. So I actually had to go back and I, I looked at, um, I looked at the original chapters where we first meet him in the prologue and he does look like a little leaner in those. So, <laughs> so I, uh, I think that there's a reason why people use character sheets and I just haven't, I haven't done it yet. In my mind, it's just more work that I have to do putting together a character sheet. That's probably something that um, people learn to do early on that I just haven't done yet. But 
I so I will say just like as advice though um though I'm not following this advice uh it's probably a good idea to have a character sheet so that your characters remain consistent but in my defense I just think that I don't know he's probably been working out since last we saw him okay so that was the inking step in my process so check out the next video to see color and shading which I should up upload um I don't know maybe about a week week and a half or so and yeah thanks for watching